Congratulations to our APAC teams Nigma Galaxy and Kater Olser Y for qualifying to the finals. In this video, we dive into the intense battles in the CN Confidence side in their pursuit to qualify to the finals as well. Hi, my name is Giang and let's take a look at the highlights of the playoffs week number 3. Starting with number 5, we saw the insanely close battle between J-Team and Nova Esports. In game number 2, Nova Esports was contesting the 3 Dragon stack advantage of J-Team. 0711 still secured it, but Nova Esports didn't want them to get it for free, forcing a team fight. J-Team tried to kite away and just lost 0711, but even in a 4v5 disadvantage, J-Team still kited out, and Pan casted a perfectly timed chain of corruption that helped them turn the tides around by interrupting the backline as the rest follows up. This allowed them not only to win the team fight, only losing 7-Eleven, but also end the game. Eh? Just be mindful of the burst. That's a crescent sweep. No steal gonna be happening through. Still, 0-7-Eleven finds himself with a better jungling mm -hmm. uh, objective taking right now. Don would wait, being chased away. 0-7-Eleven might that? actually fall down. They do get the kill. Stasis to buy some time here for this way in DY. Oh, change of next target. Perfect use of the ult on the Varus. Tall snow by Esports. And they now turn. Neon falling down. It's only Remake remaining alive. But not for long. DY is here. Yetzi as well. Cutting the path. Of remake, and that's inevitably going to be the ace plus the steal there by 0711. Number four, Long is just a jungle gun that allows Nova Esports to reign supreme, winning even against Kitas Gaming. To win against Nova Esports, you have to outmatch and outjungle Long. But in this case, we see 0711 contesting and stealing objectives away from Long, allowing J Team to be the one to get the upper hand, especially in tough situations. In this fight, we see the effect denying the second dragon for Nova Esports that allowed J-Team to take them on a team fight and win for a 4 for 1 exchange plus the dragon. Right now, Nova Esports, they want the dragon. Big damage on the Mega Inferno Bomb though, as Yetzi is being forced a little bit back. But oh, they want damage. to turn on the dragon, but they're being denied of it as well. Perfect use of the package. Stolen! Did a 7 11 go gets a steal? Just perfect long right now, being threatened. Oh, this is the that gets deleted. Still, grand challenge for the healing, but already redundant. Number 3. Z is such a talented mid laner that allows Thunder Talk to break their limits and exponentially improve. As they face Keep Best Gaming, Z demonstrated perfectly why his Akali should always be respected, getting so many kills and even solo killing Andra 9, the best mid laner in the world, four times in their third game. In this fight, we see him easily take him down as KBG puts everything to take him out as well. But this allows Thunder Talk to be engaged, taking three members of Keep Best Gaming and get the Elder Dragon as well. But he can be mispositioned at times, so again, it's, it's so difficult to fight to, to know what is actually gonna be happening here. Anran! Oh no, that's an opportunity once again here for Z. Pops in the old, but Anran gets deleted in an instant. Shama's gonna be next, but Z is dead! That's the time for KBG to now strike! But Shin goes in, KG is being met here with comes so SMY. much damage. Flash by SMY, close to Double knock up as well! Backline has been breached! Mayday, Mayday! Thundertop is closing the distance right now! x by leading the pack! Number 2 Vayne is one of the most difficult champions to use in Wild Rift with its relatively low range, no wave clear abilities, and complexity to pull off. But under the hands of Alone in game number 4 versus Thundertop, he demonstrated how incredible he is with this champion. In a bottom lane fight versus Thunder Talk, he demonstrated perfect kiting ability while free hitting as the rest of the EDG protects and enables him, securing a quadrical at the end of the fight. And at the end of the game, his score was a whopping 18, 0, and 6, dealing 46% damage, and Thunder Talk had to ban his vein the next game. That is the late game fantasy of the vein activating right now here in the early game, but that's a season to assist on to them. But that at least is X by again able to get out alone. Maybe he has to isolate here. No, he actually is, is starting to go insane as soil actually what? misses the kill. Unfortunate, but at least they got the kill out the Shingdao 7. Lovely you. there. He alone is back up and he's back and healthy. And you is there to keep him alive as well right as the cross. secondary carry. Now Soul is he's going dead. to get a if he had rained on. He's gone. Shin is not actually oh, gonna be able to impact this fight no. at all. And this is not what Thunder Dog wanted. He's alone. Oh, Once he again left alone. So late as Shin! He's gone That's as well alone! How many times how many kills does he have already? And number one. 
Thunderdog is probably one of the most difficult teams that Keepest Gaming had to face especially in the tournament on the line. In the Game 7 and last match against Thunderdog, Keepest Gaming was slowly coming back and Thunderdog wanted to force for Elder to allow them to secure the game. KG nearly got taken out but was able to escape and had the brilliant idea of shoving the wave in the bottom lane and pressuring for a game-ending push. Thunderdog secured the Elder Dragon, but since it was only Shin that was able to recoil back into the base, KG with the minions was able to push the Nexus and end the series once and for all for KBG to win and move to the lower bracket finals. Z unsuccessful in getting that pick off and Inferno Bomb gonna be missing the target as well, but now they turn, Yu is gonna be engaging. With a double knock up, but it's not enough to get anything right now. The Elder Dragon's being taken down. X Spies spending to win, and KG trying to threaten for a kill. But looks like it's still one in trouble oh, right wait. now. They're taking this wait. without hesitation. The Dawn trying to reach dead. for the skies, but now Elder. the Elder's gonna be taken. Top side though, that's a Base. big Base. wave. Oh. And KG is there. Oh no, KG can just hit the Nexus like three hits is enough for sure! One, oh, two, base three, race. Not enough. Elder and Dragon! No. KBG remains in this tournament! Did you love that highlight? Make sure to like and share the video if you did and keep supporting the teams as we're now moving closer to the final stage. My name is Giang, thank you for watching and see you again on the next video.